this afternoon. This is Bernadine from How the Hook Turns coming at you for another video. And today I want to talk to you about my sweater that I've been working on and where I'm at on it. Oh, my hair's a mess. Where I'm at on it, my next steps on it, why I'm where I am, and what I can do about it. <laughs> Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're new, welcome. Welcome back, my friends. If you've been with me, hanging with me, welcome. Uh, wonderful, wonderful time of the year. Uh, Christmas season, lights, love, all that stuff, right? Isn't it great? Makes me so happy. Okay, friends, I'm coming at you not only to tell you about my sweater, but... This is my secret project. Oh, yeah. You know what? I need that other light on. Hold on, my folks. Hold on, my folks. I forgot to turn it on. Uh, is that better? Can you see? Oh, yeah. That's better. This is my... Maybe I should start this video over. I don't know. I, I'm going to go with it. This is my husband's Christmas present. Yeah. And I was working on it this morning, and he kept coming in this craft room. And I put that thing down by my bottom of my chair. And he wouldn't just come and go. He'd come all the way over to where I was and was talking about wanting to do this and wanting to do that. And I was going, hmm, making it nonchalantly, you know. Anyway, he finally left, and I did get, I had some of it done, but I got another three rows on it. And where I'm at now, it, and this is a bag o' day pattern, and I'm going to link the tutorial in the description box if I don't forget. I'm so forgetful. But anyway, I'm happy with it. I think you will be too. I mean, it looks like a man, doesn't it? It may look like a man, but I have enough of this yarn left over. I might make one for me. Because I like camouflage stuff. Maybe it's a Rebellion, you rebellion girl, Texas girl in me. I don't know, but I do like the. I do like the. I don't own any, but I might if I make me a hat. So okay, that's my secret project. Okay, and I told y'all I was gonna do the hook of the day, <laughs> or I thought I would, and uh, I got some response from y'all, and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. So I'm going to start out with some hooks that I don't care for, but I never really gave them a chance, okay? They're a Timu purchase, and I tried them, and here they are. Here's my hook of the day. This is a Timu purchase. Those clay handle ones, I have a whole, the whole set of them. It goes from a, whoops. I looked real close before I came on here. If I can quit dropping them. It goes from a 6.5 down to a 2.25. There's a 6.5 and a 6. There's a, a 5, a 4, a 3.75, a 3.25, a 2.75, and a 2.25. That's what I have. So, luckily, this project called for a six. So, that is this little baby there. You can see the, uh, the size is right there on the shaft. I don't know if it'll come off or not. They're so cheap. I'm sure it will. I polished it with my shirt because it was kind of draggy. And, see, when I first got them, I tried them out, and they were draggy. And I just, like said, oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> we can't do that. <laughs> so I gave him a, a bad review. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a few rounds on this hat with this hook of the day. So my hook of the day is this pretty Timu. And if you go on the Timu site, I'm sure you can find them. They're not the best, folks, but the price for a starter kit, I guess they're okay. And I do like the way that clay feels. I do like it. It's not soft, but it's grabbable. Okay, that's the word I'm going to use. It's a grabbable hook. 
So let me turn you down and let's just see. I have not crocheted with this, but a couple of stitches. At the start of this row, before I turn the camera on, I crocheted a couple of stitches. Oh, starting right here. And what I'm doing now is putting single crochets all the way around. So let me turn you down. And I think you can see. <clears throat> so I don't expect much from this hook. But if this is all I had, I'd use it. I don't like it. It's not a clover. It's not even a a knockoff cheap one from Amazon. It's, to me, it's probably worse than Amazon's uh, low price uh, beginner hooks. I have some right here. These are, this is the bag of the Amazon uh, metal headed, rubber handled crochet hook. And this is a 6.0. Let me put it back up. Because I want to make sure you can see that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And it, it, it feels like the metal goes all the way to the end. There is no give down there. Uh, it's in there good. But, you know, it's like a... It comes in this bag. It comes with all these beautiful... They're beautiful colored hooks. It goes from a 2.0 to a 8. Yeah. This is the 8. No, that's the 7. There is an 8 in here. Ah! Oh, the lavender. No, that's a 6.5. Oh, my goodness. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. Maybe it just goes up to a... Here's the eight. It goes up to an eight. There's the eight. Pink. And I have used these a little bit when I got them. So let me put your head back down. So let, let's take this Timu out and let's put this other affordable, I won't call it cheap, affordable Amazon hook in there. And as you can see, if I can crochet... It does seem a little bit better than that Timu hook. I mean, they're not like the worst hooks ever. I don't know. So let's see how this one goes now. So this row is just a row of single crochet. It's got a boy head on it, which I'm okay with the boy. But this is not the hook of the day, folks. I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. It's not the end of the world over here, but this is what we're focusing on today. I was just going to compare it to that. But these are definitely more affordable than these in the pouch. Oops. Yeah, these were, I don't know, $10? Of course, you got a lot of hooks in here, and you got some stitch markers, not stitch markers, needle needles and stitch markers and a measuring tape, and you also got a little row counter. And you also got a thing to put on your finger, a cutter, like a ring. But I have that in a, somewhere else. I'll have that in my project bag that I take out with me. So I don't have to take scissors. But anyway, this is how it's coming along. Like I said, it's not the... I hope you can see that. Uh, it's not the best blowing hook. It's not a clover. And I know that. And I knew it wouldn't be when I got it, but I guess I... It was when I was starting out. I wanted to experiment, okay? And I did. And I didn't spend a lot of money on these. These were... I think...
think less than five dollars yeah I don't do Timu anymore folks I'm afraid of it I'm afraid of them ripping my ripping me off with my debit card I deleted all that stuff I kept hearing things about it and it really wasn't worth it anyway I mean they have yeah some things are fairly decent but it's just a basically you can get some good deals but basically and I know they have the same sellers as they have on Amazon but at least Amazon's not in China and I like Amazon Prime. I like getting things no shipping in a couple of days. I don't know. It's going not, not as bad as I thought it would. Maybe I just had to get used to it. Definitely I'm not used to it. No, I'm not. Because I've never made a project with this. I, this is the most I've ever crocheted with these hooks. I was so disappointed after I got them and I tried them and I thought, well, you get what you pay for. My husband always says, you get what you pay for. He right. <laughs> he didn't pay much, he didn't get much. But I mean, they might be okay for some folks, but I won't be reaching for these if I have a choice. But I did buy them and I wanted to give them a fair trial so I am going to crochet the rest of this hat with this homely look well it's not homely <laughs> it acts homely okay but it's pretty but it does it acts pretty homely <laughs> it's down on my list of Christmas wishes for a present not these please anyway I bought them I've got them they're not the end of the world. Maybe, maybe as I work with this yarn, this yarn is not soft either, okay? This yarn is fairly, I hope it softens up because my husband has a bald head. Make sure he's not <laughs> over there. He has a bald head, okay? And I don't want it to be rough on his little bald head. So, so I hope after I wash it, it softens up. That's my hope. All right, well, I've come the full round with this Timu crochet hook. It's curling on me, but she says it will do that. Uh, yeah, I used a magic ring on this. Since I learned how to do those magic rings, I really like doing that. So now we're back around here where we started. So I'm going to slip stitch in my first single crochet and I'm going to chain one and then what I'm going to do is crochet single crochets in the back of every single crochet. Yeah. When you do that, and if you watch her tutorial she'll tell you. It makes a ridge on the cap. So after you do this and you start putting your next row on it, it's going to have a little ridge sticking up there like that. This will go down, the ridge will stay up. Yeah. Yes, it will. Well, I was going to get this video out earlier. But I had some household chores to do. I had some laundry to do. I had to fix breakfast. I had to feed chickens. My husband went out and gathered the eggs. Our hens are not laying a lot, but it is winter time. And that happens, folks. It didn't happen much last year. I don't know why. I hope it picks up, really. I haven't bought eggs in a few years. I don't want to have to go start doing that again. 
eggs. I know they're not as good as these fresh farm eggs. Yeah, this is not real comfortable on my thumb either. You see that indentation on my thumb? <laughs> it matching on this crochet hook. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it would. it's going to get sore after a while. These are gravy, but they're not soft. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to enjoy finishing this hat with this hook. I may have to switch hooks, my friends, even after what I said. I thought I could finish this hat with this hook, but my thumb is getting sore. Because like I said, you got to kind of push and pull on this thing because it's not real smooth. Yeah, I may not have, I may have, I may have to change my, my hook, but I'm not, I got to think about it first. So, how are y'all coming with your Christmas, your uh, crochet Christmas items, or knitted items? This is the only thing I'm making this year to give away. I didn't make anything for anybody because my, nobody lives close to me, but my sister-in-law, she's a crocheter. And make her own stuff. Probably wouldn't mean a whole lot to her since she can whip it up herself. She, if she would get her crochet stuff out of uh, unpacked from her move, and get on with it. But now, you, can you kind of see that ridge now forming? Yeah, that's a that's a nice technique, I think. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Okay, my friends. Well, that's all I'm going to say about that hat, okay? <coughs> that's my hug of the day. As controversial as I think that is, but I bought them, so there they are. Okay, let me move my hat. Okay, this is, I'm going to try it on for you guys, okay? Let me get back here. I have to go buy some buttons before I put my, my, my buttonholes on. And I still haven't got my ends weaved in, of course. I did work on some of those this morning. Okay. Here's my hoodie. Let me back up. Yeah. The sleeves look good. I'm going to put, like, it's going to be three more rows on each side. And then I'm going to button it. So this is the back of it. Here's my hood. Here's my hood on. Here's my hood off. What do y'all think? I am happier with this sweater than any of the ones I've made so far. It's been a job, but I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. It's a lot of work. But I, I, I've enjoyed it. I mean, it may be a lot of work, but it's been fun. Okay. Let me get my chair back up. These chairs don't real, roll real good on carpet. I need one of those plastic things you put your chair on. So, that's kind of where I'm at. I need buttons. And my road's still muddy. I can't get out. Somebody drove down it a while ago, and you could see slushy mud just flying. So, the sun is out. Probably by late afternoon, it'll be drivable. So, I'm probably just going to go tomorrow. Get, get a bag of buttons. I saw a big bag of buttons, like different kinds, different sizes, big ones, small ones. I think I'm going to buy that because I may need buttons for other things. Probably will. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get a drink of water.
Today is Friday. Fabulous Friday. Happy Friday, folks. I hate to go to Walmart the Saturday before Christmas, but I guess I'll be out there with all the other people. But I won't be around the Christmas stuff. No, I won't. I'm just going to the sewing notions place and I'm getting out of there. Yeah. Okay, folks, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching and welcome. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to me. I try to come out with a video every two or three days, sometimes a few days in a row. It just depends on if I have anything to show you guys. And since I'm doing hook of the day now, I probably will be videoing more. So here's Timu. Don't, don't think they're great because they're not great, but in a pinch, you can get by if you don't, if you don't mind a little pain in your thumb. <laughs> Okay, the show is over, folks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a like and share them if you can. Leave me a comment. Enjoy your pre-Christmas festivities and decorations and lights and love. And It's a wrap from here, folks. I'll catch you next time. I love you. So does God. Bye now.